So that's the second commandment right there, which to sum it all up, it's you shall not have any graven images or idols. So what I've got here, this kind of works. I can just speak on this mic right here. Um, I know that these guys know what this is, but does anybody else know what this is? And Josh, you don't count. <laughs> Go ahead, Dexter. It's a toy. It's a toy. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yes. And more specifically, this is this is more than just a toy. This is Voltron, okay? It's more than just a toy. This is like my childhood right here coming back. And they, they made like brand new Voltron toys, at least a couple of years ago they did. So we got Voltron here, something very special. Uh, to myself and and toys are fun you get to play with them they represent different sorts of things you you create your own stories with them uh, but uh, Jaden Carter tell me if I took Voltron and I held him up to the sky and I said you are so wonderful <laughs> you are so wonderful probably kind of weird uh, what about Beautiful, precious Voltron. <laughs> That'd probably be, a, probably be a little bit bizarre because what 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 is that that I'm doing when I sing songs? You're idolizing. I'm idolizing. I'm worshiping Voltron. That would be just strange. We wouldn't want to worship a toy. And yet, a uh, long time ago, uh, and this is actually also found in the book of Exodus, uh, when Moses went up on top of a mountain to get the Ten Commandments, uh, the Israelites, his friends and his family, they built a golden statue of a calf of all things. A calf. Kind of kind of weird. They built a calf. And then they started doing just that. They looked the calf in the eyes and they started singing these songs of praise and worship to it, saying that this is the God that brought us out of Egypt. Now, they're attributing uh, the power of the real God to that statue. And God didn't like that because he was the one that brought them out of Egypt. And so God, what he did for us is he actually sent his son in flesh and blood. Not a creation of human hands, but rather uh, the incarnation of God himself. It says the word became flesh. And he did that so that we could see him and talk to him and know who he is. And not just build a statue or a toy or, or even paint an image for that matter. To worship but this so we can actually have the real representation of God in the flesh and since God is invisible and he lives inside of our hearts we can sing to God wherever we are without having to bow down to an image a statue or anything else for that matter and that concludes the children's lesson for this morning